Hi guys, so do a video about what we're harvesting. So first thing we're going to be harvesting today are some of these butternut squashes because they're getting quite big. There's one just there, there's lots of them all buried in. So we're going to get in there and we're going to harvest them. Um, we've got the pump and we're just waiting for some water to come through so that we can get all these new starts, give them all good water in. Um, the rest of the tomatoes, what's left on them, we're going to harvest. We're going to take that framework down and then we're going to plant some more tomatoes in two rows over there. So over winter, see what happens. Um, I suppose there are a few people over here that have said it's not really worth doing, but I will give it a go. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, what else we're harvesting? Aubergines, melons. Got some watermelons and honeydew melons ready. So we're going to get them harvested as well. So I'm going to crack on and harvest and then I'll come back to you once we've harvested everything and show you. So guys, as you can see, the squashes, we've just harvested some from inside, but I've just had a walk down the lane. And there's still plenty more hidden away underneath those leaves. This year's oranges coming along nicely. Get really nice oranges off these two. Uh, we'll have to go around and thin them out just a little bit. So, melon. A little curly bit has died off now. Up there. If you tap it, oh, that was good. that'll sound on camera, but that is hollow. So, we're going to harvest that. We've got another one down there, which we'll be harvesting. There's also some out in the field with the honeydew ones as well that we're going to harvest as well. But yeah, this is called burrow space, guys. <laughs> Let it grow up the fence, through the fence. We actually had to come out the other week because it was growing right across the road. So, yeah. But these haven't had any water or anything. They're literally just self-sown. I think they were self-sown. Can't remember. I don't remember planting any watermelons down here. But yeah. So, we'll get these harvest stuff back with you in a minute. So guys, we're back. Look at that for a harvest. So, we've got our watermelons, honeydew melons. These are Christmas melon. I think that's what it said on the packet. There is another name for it. I'm not going to sure what it is. Squashes. We do pick them a little bit greener here. Um, only because our Spanish customers do like them like that. So... I think it doesn't make much difference because they just leave them out in the sun as far as I know where. We've got some chicory down here, which is been cut. I'm going to get that straight into the fridge in a minute to cool down. That's for our boxes this afternoon. Well, all this is for our boxes this afternoon. Cherry tomatoes. And there's, there was some big tomatoes on a tomato plant that just volunteered over there. So we picked them up. But there is a really, really... Tiny honeydew melon. So I thought, stuff it. We'll get the taste tester out. We've got a tomato over there, so we're going to cut into them and we're going to see what they taste like. Alright, guys. So, oh, I'm sinking. I'm sinking, Alexa. <laughs> so I've got the best taste tester here, and that's Alexa, because she loves everything out of here. She eats more than any of us. So, tomato. Should have really brought a sharp knife out, shouldn't I? Yeah. There you go. Give that a go. Good. That is a good tomato. Mm. Mm. Run that bit. Right. Up in the tooth. <laughs> See what this is like. Oh, look at that. So, over here. We'll probably get thousands of honeydew melons now growing next year. Yeah. All in one spot, but never mind. Yeah. Right. So, this is going to be a bit warm. Yeah. Put that down. Mm. 
because it's warm, it's just been cut out of the field. So, what's the verdict? Mm, I ain't no worries. The tomato. The tomato's better. Is that because the melon's warm? Yes. So, yeah, but there you go. Some nice honeydew melons. So, guys, I've just sent Katie off on the last of her deliveries. Um, she enjoys doing her deliveries to her customers. So, she's gone off to do them. But just before I close this video up, I want to show you the the seeds. There, get my words out. The seeds that I sown four days ago, and they're already starting to show. So let's go and have a look. So that's the spinach. That's not quite showing yet. But here we've got chicory, and then we've got our Swiss chard showing. There's nothing showing on the lavender front yet. Sprouts, nothing showing as of yet, but really, really small. Let's see, there we go. You can just see these are the Tuscan cabbages and the Port Portuguese cabbages are starting to just pop up. So, yeah, that's four days, mate. Four days. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you have a great weekend and we will catch you on the next one. See you later.